The cervical endoscopic unilateral laminotomy for bilateral decompression approach from Arthrex is an ultra-minimally invasive surgery ideal for patients with central canal stenosis in the cervical spine. In this procedure, the endoscope is used to assist in the approach for access and visualization. The patient is placed in the prone position using AP fluoro or palpation to mark the midline. Next, mark a line over the facet joint, usually about a centimeter and a half off the midline. Lateral fluoro is used to mark a line over the disc space of the level being treated based on preoperative MRI. Make a skin incision at the intersection of the lateral line and the facet joint line. Using an AP view, insert the first dilator towards the facet joint, confirming once bone contact has been made. Next, confirm the position of the dilator using a lateral view. Dilate up to the diameter of the cannula using a rotation motion with each dilator. Place the working cannula while rotating and advance to bony contact, confirming with lateral fluoro. Remove the dilators and introduce the endoscope. Expose the facet joint using the flex tip probe and cup graspers to remove soft tissue and begin to work medially to expose the V-point comprised of the upper and lower lamina. Continue to expose medially towards the spinous process, beginning your laminotomy on the cranial and ipsilateral side. Kerosene punches and burrs can be utilized to undercut the lamina. Continue the laminotomy on the contralateral side, exposing more of the ligamentum flavum. Begin to detach the ligamentum flavum and ensure there are no adhesions to the dura. Larger pieces of the ligament can be removed by partially biting down on the ligament, twisting, rotating, and then removing. Once the bilateral decompression of the fecal sac has been performed, the next step is to address any pathology in the foramen by using a kerosen to decompress over the exiting nerve root. A ball tip probe and direct visualization can be used to assess the decompression. Once complete, the endoscope and cannula are removed, followed by wound closure and placement of a jumpstart bandage.